Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Value Videos. This video is going to cover something that I think is really awesome that Excel can do, is making your own custom function. So normally functions you can do equals if and then do some stuff, or you can do equals average and find the average of some numbers. Um, but you could actually make your own custom function to do anything you want. Um, I think it's really awesome and super helpful to know about in case you ever run into a time where there's not a function available for what you're trying to do which just happened to me actually today. Um, so I was trying, I have a list of dates um, similar to this, but they're like not quite random, but there are a bunch of rand there are a bunch of um, different dates and they're all, you know, it's a lot of them and they're all um, kind of assorted differently. And I wasn't sure, you know, what they all were, but I needed quarterly numbers. So um, kind of my first thought was to do an if then. So I could say if the, the month was of, of that particular date was less than, um, 12 then it would be like the fourth quarter kind of thing um, and that kind of works but then that gets to be really long uh, what I was kind of cooler to do would be to do if I need so I, what I was looking for is what quarter each of these dates was in so if I needed equals quarter if I spelled it right quarter and then I could do that date and then hit enter and it would just give me one two three or four based on whatever date I selected um, so I'm going to show you how to make your own function and you can just tailor this to however you want. If you ever find, you know, some other need for a function, you can make anything you want just um, using the same instructions that I'm going to show you how to do the quarter function. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to need to be under Visual Basic under developer. So we're open Visual Basic and we can't make this function just in a regular sheet or workbook. Like normally if you look at my other videos and we're doing VBA, um, or writing macros or whatever. It's sometimes they're under like some of these, these sheets or this workbook. But we actually need it to be under what's called a module. And so we need to right click on VBA project. And right now I'm in book six, which is book six, the name of the, the workbook that I'm in. Yours could say book one probably, um, or the name of whatever book you're on. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to go to insert module. It's that middle one right there, module. And that's going to create module one. And you could rename it something else if you want to right here. Um, but so right now it's blank, and so normally when we write uh, macros and we're doing VBA or something, we'd be sub and we'd call it macro one or something, you know, and we keep going. But for a function, we're going to write function, and we need to name the function. And for me, it's going to be quarter. And because I'm doing a function, I need some kind of input. So normally, if I was going to do the function sum, I would give it a bunch of numbers and it would add them up. Um, if I was going to do average, I'd give it also a bunch of numbers and then it would add them up. Uh, but in this case, I need to give it a date because my function is to find the quarter that we're in. So I need to give it a date and it will output from the input of date to the output of what quarter we're in. And so I'm going to call it selected cell. And so whatever cell I select, it's going to be my selected cell. And I need to declare that as range because I'm going to be selecting a cell, which is actually a range. Um, I'm going to be choosing a range to give it. And so for quarter right here, I'm going to be choosing some selected cell which is a it's a range that's going to out it's going to go into the 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 function quarter it's just like in math where you have functions where you put in an x and you pop out a y our x in this case is going to be selected cell and our y is going to be whatever quarter we're in so i'm putting in an x which is the date right here and my math function you know, as an analogy is going to come out it's, not, it's not, i mean it's almost not even an analogy it's that's actually how it works um, so what I'm going to need to do is, in order to determine what quarter we're in, I need to know what month we're in. Because if we're in January, February, or March, that's going to be our first quarter. If we're in April, May, or June, it's going to be second quarter, and so on. So I need to do month of sele selected cell is going to be, is that's how we're going to determine um, what quarter we're in. And so um, I can either put that in there, or I'm actually going to assign it a variable so I can reference that variable later. So I'm just going to do date look. I'll call it date look because it's whatever date we're looking at is going to be our month of our selected cell. So now we have date look and it's going to be the month. So it's going to be a number 1 through 12. Now if that number is 12, 11, or 10, it'll be fourth quarter. And if it's 9, 8, or 7, it'll be the third quarter and so on. So I'm just going to write that directly in here. If date look is less than or equal to 12, then quarter equals 4 and if. Now, you're probably looking at that and you're saying, well, okay, yes, if it's 12, 11, or 10, then it will be the fourth quarter, but January would be less than 12. That would be one. That would be less than 12, and that's not the fourth quarter. So why would you write less than or equal to 12? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'll show you in just a sec. 
I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste and I'm gonna do that so there's four blocks worth of that and so I have if it's less than 12 then it's four and then now down here now if it's less than 12 it'll be the fourth quarter but if it's also less than nine then it's the third quarter and if it's also less than six then it's the second quarter and if it's also less than three then it's the first quarter and so what I'm doing is I'm saying if whatever date you pick all of them will at first be assigned quarter four and then if it uh, you know it doesn't matter if I'm picking January February all the way through December they'll all be less than 12 or equal to less than or equal to 12 and so they'll all be at first assigned quarter four but if they also match any of these other ones then they'll be reassigned a different number depending on which one they match and so some of them will be uh, so January for instance if I put January in there it'll be assigned quarter four because it's less than 12 then it'll be reassigned quarter three because it's also less than nine. Then it'll be again reassigned and again reassigned until it gets to quarter one because January is less than three. And so it'll go through the entire thing until it gets to the end. Then it will end the function. So that is actually the entirety of creating a custom function right there. I'll show you over here how it works. So I can do equals. And I can do quarter. And I just see quarter. So I hit tab to select it. So I hit tab. And now I need to select the cell. So I'm going to select right here is January 1st. Hit enter. Um, and because it's, so I'm going to do a comma right there, so one, and I don't need to have any decimals because it's just quarter one. So I'm going to say, I'll give it a title so you can see date and quarter. And so we're in the first quarter. And I'm going to drop this down so you can see. And so you can see one, two, three, these January, February, and March are all the first quarter. And then three is the second quarter. And then these, th the, oops. okay, come on, there we go. Then these three are going to be our third quarter, and these three are going to be a fourth quarter. And so I changed uh, March right here to a different. So they're, they're all the first just because I put in a bunch of dates so you can see how it works. But I wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be the first day of the month. It can be any random day in there. Uh, so March 28th works or uh, May 10th works, and it's still the second quarter. I can, put in, I can do 11, 11, 11. So November 11th of 2011 is the fourth quarter of 2011. And so um, the function works no matter what date you put in. Um, you just go right there and so all we had to do was type in function um, I assigned it the name quarter I gave it some inputs and then it gave it some outputs and so you need to have in order for the function to work you need to have the function be assigned a number at some point in here so that's why I said quarter equals four because quarter is the name of the function so that's important so when you're writing your own functions it's important to have at some point in the in the writing the coding of the function you need to output what the answer is based on what the inputs are so that's that. Um, I'm really interested to see if you all are working on creating your own custom functions, what different um, needs you have. So whatever functions you all are working on, I'd love to see if you put it in the uh, in the, the comments below. Let me know what you're working on. If you need any help with anything, uh, feel free to also comment with questions and I'll see if I can help you or any of the awesome people that watch my videos might be able to provide some help too. But that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. And you'd probably like these ones too. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this Y axis. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to do window. format. So you can click on that. I'm going to change my uh, range for my Y axis. And I can see right here none of the and data so the that I'm looking for goes 